And it's your main event here on the AWF on 45 TV in just his second appearance here in the AWF. Jacob Savage extending quite the olive branch to JDX. A heavyweight championship title shot right here from Randolph High School. Jacob Savage recognizing the opportunities that he has been given in his career, recognizing that perhaps there have been opportunities that he didn't fully take advantage of. But right now, he's giving one of those to JDX and it will be up to him to determine if he's gonna take full grasp of what has been presented to him with the opportunity to compete for the American Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship. Lock up, right in the middle. For a rookie, JDX certainly showing a lot early on. The power, he's got agility, he's got a good grasp of the fundamentals. A little bit of an attitude, however. Briar to these two competitors locking up. Top wrist lock applied by JDX. Counter maneuver from the champion, Jacob Savage. Hammer lock now from the fan favorite, Jacob Savage. Savage growing by leaps and bounds now entering. This is his fourth year in here in professional wrestling, turning into a veteran before our eyes. Here's he has his work cut out for him, however, against the challenge of Mr. B.A. Beyond average, JDX. Side headlock. Had that hold on for the better part of two minutes, it appears. And for someone like JDX to storm in here into the AWF and be proclaim that he is beyond average. Certainly quite the claim. I don't, I wouldn't say it's outlandish with what we've seen from the youngster. However, he's got a lot to prove, but he has the chance to prove a lot. Right in here with the champ, Jacob Savage. Clean break. I got the rope. Savage content to take a little bit of time. And feeling one another out, another collar and elbow tie up. Back to that side headlock, this time from Savage. Off the far ropes. Ooh, Savage, hanging on. Oh, another side headlock. Still hanging on. Oh, looked like. JDX, did he go low that time? Clubbing forearm shot to the back from JDX. Ooh, going right to that left knee. You know, over the years, Jacob Savage has had some struggles with that extremity. Savage fights back, though. Forearm shot from JDX. Double axe handle. Irish whip from the challenger. Goes right into a clothesline from the champ, followed by an elbow. Jacob Savage, look at this elbow. And we're now joined by Tony Danucci here at the desk.
JDX with the count being put on him, and I don't blame him, frankly, for taking advantage of this little breather. But Savage running out of patience, but JDX fights back. Oh, and he's connecting on those punches, too. Wow, right in the small of the back into the ring apron. No give right there at all. Savage, the champion, fighting back. Now this isn't really his forte to be out on the outside of the ring fighting in this manner. Another right hand. Savage in there to break the count. That's using, that's using, that is, that is psychology. That is what a guy that knows the ring, that's what he does. And that's this we got. Youngster at ringside. Whoa, getting involved perhaps. Whoa! <laughs> Dropping both feet down onto the midsection of JDX. Oh, and we got another youngster <laughs> with some outside interference perhaps. A good night's sleep can be the difference between this and this. Stop sleep deprivation today and head down to Overstock Furniture and Mattress located in the Elk Park Center in Elk River, Minnesota. For the best brand names and mattresses at wholesale dream prices. From singles to kings, Overstock has your next mattress covered. Plus, check out our massive showroom for the latest in in-home furnishings with sofa and love seats starting at $5.99 and sectionals at $7.99. The prices you need to see to believe are at Overstock Furniture and Mattress. Overstock Furniture and Mattress, top name brands at wholesale prices in the Elk Park Center. Take a step out of the ordinary at Harry Mosquito Trading Company, making old memories new again. A non-traditional trip down memory lane, Harry Mosquito brings artisans together in a community setting full of music, food, and festivities. Harry Mosquito also buys full and partial estates. Contact them today or stop in. You'll never know what you'll find. Harry Mosquito Trading Company, open all year round. Are your old electronics or appliances taking up space? B&E Recycling has you covered. B&E will buy your aluminum, cans, copper, brass, wire, stainless, and radiators. They accept batteries, tin, scrap steel, and scrap iron. Even miscellaneous items from fluorescent bulbs to cardboard. B&E will dispose of your old appliances and electronics. Visit B&E online today for the latest rates and online exclusive coupons. B&E Recycling, Highway 10, Elk River. Tony Danucci here. Are you having credit problems? Not anymore. Here at Brandel Motors, we guarantee credit approval in a new or newer car. No matter what the temperature, it's always 70 year round on our show floor and it's a huge inventory. I guarantee your loan will be approved, so stop by our little fall store and check us out or go to BrandelMotors.com and tell them Tony sent you. Hi, my name is Dan Gould. I personally guarantee that you will not find a better diamond engagement ring at a better price anywhere else. Please stop by and let me prove it to you at downtown Anoka on 2nd Main right next to Jensen. Jacob Savage bringing it back in the ring over the protests of after that activity of JDX. Oh, that time he went right for the eyes. Turnabout is fair play, I suppose, in these circumstances, Tony. Close line from the challenger. Again, talking about the big opportunity right before JDX and only his second appearance on an AWF card. One, two, two count. Cocky pin attempt from the challenger. He has to know better than that, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Whip hard into the oh, buckle, that, sending. All, all of that, oh, he's, that's what you call sending shivers up your spine. Spine itself has to just be 
rattling after oh, that. Oh, absolutely. He's feeling that from his spine to his toes right now. And I'm talking a numbness in the toes. Oh, yeah. JDX bringing back up Jacob Savage. What's next from the young man from Chicago? Backbreaker. Followed up by a pinfall attempt. This could do it too. No. Just a heartbeat away from a new champion here. And I don't know if Jacob Savage, with all the punishment that he has had to un been inflicted upon him thus far, can fully appreciate the predicament he's put himself in right now. JDX in prime position to perhaps walk out of here with the gold. Inverted camel clutch. Is he going to give? I don't know. Jacob Savage. That back and that neck being absolutely punished right now, but so far he's saying no. He's conscious. I, I, I can't tell because I got the cameraman in front of me, but... Savage working his way back up. Bought his way back up to his feet. Can he extricate himself from this predicament? JDX cuts him off that time. Irish whip, drops down, sunset flip by Savage. One, two, and two. JDX again, submission maneuver perhaps. Trying to get him over for a Boston Crab, oh. but no. Savage counters. Wow, that, that takes unbelievable core strength to do something like that. Oh, certainly. Core strength and to coordinate yourself to make that all happen at once. Wow. The champ sends JDX for the ride. Here comes Savage. Nobody home. Big mistake. Big mistake from the champion. Look at this, though. Oh! That could do it, Tony. Can I have a new champion right here? Oh, oh my goodness. I thought history was going to be made right there. JDX again cannot emphasize enough how excited he has to be to be given this opportunity and to be so, so close right there. JDX is an athlete. I tell you, he is a real athlete. Absolutely right. The physique, the agility. Where's JDX out of? Uh, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois, huh? I'm utilizing the second ring rope added advantage. Even though he is a rookie, he ought to know that that is not permissible within the rules. Rookie and a little, little cocky for a rookie as far as I'm concerned. East Central Sports is your one-stop shop for ATVs, dirt bikes, UTVs, go-karts, and snowmobiles, all starting as low as $499. We offer free delivery and 12-month interest-free financing to make purchasing easy and affordable. Check us out at eastcentralsports.com or stop by our North Branch, Minnesota location today. Don't let a broken car break your wallet. Get affordable car repair service at Precision Tune Auto Care in Elk River, Minnesota. From brake repair to oil changes, pretty much any car problem you have, we can fix it. We've shopped the competition, but our rates are as low as they get. Plus, we have online specials for even lower prices. So if you've got a car problem, we've got the solution. Located at 18850 Dodge Street in Elk River, Minnesota, next to Perkins and the Academy. Precision Tune Auto Care. BC Marathon Transportation in Elk River, Minnesota is currently hiring full-time drivers. These openings include two van drivers and two flatbed drivers. One year of experience in a CDL Class A license is required. These positions include a full benefit package and up to $2,000 sign-on bonus. Fill out an application online at bcmarathontransportation.com or stop by our Elk River location today. Main Street Music and Electronics has been the premier one-stop music shop in Elk River for more than 30 years. We buy, sell, trade, and rent guitars, amps, drums, orchestral and band instruments, keyboards, sheet music, pro audio, and DJ equipment. Quality band instrument rentals start at just $8 per month with free maintenance. You can schedule private lessons with one of our qualified instructors. We even repair your instruments, amplifiers, TVs, and other electronics on site. So stop in today and see why. Dad, you're 
Well, you have to say, like, a lot of the time here in wrestling, you have to earn opportunities. Yep. Jacob Savage gave this opportunity to JDX. I don't think Savage, for as fighting of a champion as he is, is under the obligation to give a title match to a rookie no, like this. No, not at all. And you know what? He, you, you, you said a key word that JDX needs to realize, opportunity. Yes. He didn't owe him, he gave him an opportunity. One, two. Now it still remains to be seen whether JDX can make the most of it. He's had some really close shots, some very, very close near falls. That time he hooks the far leg. Going again, JDX showing he wants this. He might be a little cocky, but he wants to walk out of here with the gold, Tony. He does. We're here with the AWF, the American Wrestling Federation. On 45 TV, DJ Draper with Tony Danucci. AWF Heavyweight Championship on the line. It's the challenger, Mr. BA, beyond average, JDX. With that chin lock on our heavyweight champion, Jacob Savage, with this crowd here at Randolph, Minnesota. Fully behind him as he twerks to extricate himself from that hold. Off the ropes. Here comes the champion into a sleeper hold, maybe. JDX looking to put to put the champion to sleep and walk out of here with that title belt with Savage in slumber. Savage is going out. Yeah, look at his arm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't count out Savage. No, he's fighting with every, every ounce of strength he's got left. If there's anyone in this company who can fight back from this situation, it is Jacob Savage. But I don't know right now, Tony. Savage fading. Savage is out. We could have a new champion here, Tony. I don't know. I'm not counting him out yet. I can't. I've seen him come back from too many times. James Benson needs to check to see if Savage is still with us. You know. He's, Check maybe the he's hand. Out. He looks like That's he's out. That's once. That's twice. This is academic. We're gonna have a new champion here, Tony. JDX. No. Savage. Somehow with gas in the tank, even though it's on E. It's starting to sputter. But Savage still able to get fuel to the throttle. Whoa. Close lines from our champion. Spine Buster oh, connects. That's gotta be it. Where's this energy? Where does this intensity Where did it come, come from? from? For our AWF heavyweight champion, Jacob Savage. That's why he is a champion, DJ. Because he pulls it from beneath. Some somewhere deep down. He comes and he gets it when he needs to have it. Front face lock. JDX. Oh, body put on the block, but no, it was his back. Jacob Savage's back. Roll up, it's got him, small package, two. Only two. JDX though, again, going for another submission maneuver. He's got that Boston Crab on. We saw the damage done and the consequences thereof to Jacob Savage. Oh, the torquing, the torquing on the lower oh, back man. right now. You can't imagine the pain. I've been in that position. DJ, it plain out, simple old fashioned hurts. Savage writhing in pain right now, and JDX can taste the gold. All he has to do is get Jacob Savage to say two words, I quit. Look at the strength, the look at the strength in him. Savage, in a push-up position, able to work to the bottom rope. The heart of this young man, and JDX to the realization he has to let it go. Oh my God. JDX wondering what else he has to do. JDX has Savage down on the canvas. He has to take advantage of this chance, Tony. Savage is prone right now. What's JDX gonna do next? Savage back at it though with those rights. Flush on the jaw. 
Savage sends JDX for an Irish whip. Ducks the clothesline. Kick to the midsection. Now can you get him over? Now can he hit that jackhammer? No. The damage to the lower back just too much. He's got him up. He hit him with the jackhammer. Somehow. Got it. Some way. Jacob Savage, still your champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this bout and still American Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion, Jacob Savage. What an unbelievable contest with an unbelievable performance from JDX who had some very, very close near falls. Not to mention a couple of times where Savage was almost out cold, first with a sleeper hold, and then with that second Boston Crab, almost was able to score a submission. But again, the, on display, with that showcase, that heart, that determination, that tenacity that you talked about so much, Tony, yep. from Jacob Savage. That's what makes him a champion, DJ. That's what makes him a champion. And, I, and right now, with victories like this, I wonder what can stop Jacob Savage. What can get between that title belt and Jacob Savage at this stage? We, we might be taking a look at our longest reigning AWF in the history of the AWF champion in, in one uh, Jacob Savage. I think so. What a match, what a moment. From Randolph, Minnesota, your champion still, Jacob Savage. Need parts for your car? Save big on car repairs at You Pull Our Parts. Come pull the parts you need and save up to 80% off of new. You Pull Our Parts has two convenient locations in Rosemount and East Bethel. With over 2,000 vehicles, you're sure to find the parts you need. View our full inventory of vehicles at youpullourparts.com. I just love coming to Minnesota Equipment. You walk through these doors and it's just truly amazing. With the gator, the tractors, the excavator, the skid steer, and all those small power tool equipment that Minnesota Equipment provides, this farm would not function. I decided on Minnesota Equipment for three reasons. The honesty of the sales force, the quality of the machinery, and lastly, service. John Deere is very reliable, and the service at Minnesota Equipment is very personal. John Deere has a piece of equipment for every need on our farm, and Minnesota Equipment is always there to support us when we need it. RVS Performance specializes in aftermarket accessories, parts, and performance tuning on ATVs and side-by-sides. With over 20 years of experience, RVS Performance has the knowledge necessary to handle everything from basic tunings to custom cages and bumpers. Check us out online at rvsperformance.com or stop by our North Branch location today. Satellite Experts is East Central Minnesota's local internet, television, and home security provider. We offer nationally recognized brands like Exceed, Dish Network, DirecTV, CenturyLink, and Vivint Home Automation. With more than seven years of service in our local community, Satellite Experts employs local technicians to make installation quick and hassle-free. Give us a call or stop by our East Bethel location today. Ramsey Bicycle is the top bike shop in the Twin Cities, specializing in truck bikes, but carrying a vast array of other brands as well. We also carry all of the attachments and accessories you're looking for. Don't forget, we also repair and maintain your bikes. So visit us today at Highway 10 in Ramsey. The superstars of the American Wrestling Federation will be back in action on Saturday night, March 10th, as the AWF invades Malacca. Bring the whole family and catch all the action as Malacca High School hosts an epic night of wrestling. The action gets underway at 7 p.m. For more information, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pro AWF. Again, the AWF comes to Malacca High School Saturday night, March 10th at 7 p.m. Don't you dare miss it! Oh, my God. 
It's the AWF here on 45 TV. DJ Draper with Tony Danucci, and we're in for a treat on today's show. There's Ryan Cruz in, well, quite a colorful getup, I must say, going one-on-one -on -one with someone with whom he is no stranger at all, the anarchist Derek Cannon. Whoa. Colorful getup. Uh, he's got combinations on the shirt, on the tights. He looks like a paisley print something. I don't know. Well, and I think the reflection off of those tights from these lights here at Elk River High School could very well be blinding me if I didn't have the tint on these glasses that I so wisely decided. Almost to looks like here. he's from a 90s or 80s rock and roll band with those tights or something. Oh, I don't know. Was he ever on the road with Bon Jovi or Def <laughs> Leppard? I mean. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Ryan. This is going to be a good match, JJ. You got two veterans in the ring. You got very crafty, fast. They're generals of the ring. This is going to be one hell of a match. Two men who, by and large, have traveled along similar paths here, especially as it relates to the AWF. Very, very long standing members of our roster. I got to be honest with you, though. Uh, I really do. I think there's a little animosity with Ryan Cruz towards one Eric Cannon because. Eric Cannon really has had the spotlight mm -hmm. in the Minnesota Midwest area, and Ryan Cruz, not saying that he deserves to, but he has kind of taken that back seat to one Eric Cannon. I think so, and I think it's not just here in Minnesota necessarily. I do think that Ryan Cruz perhaps may be jealous of some of the opportunities that Cannon has had to travel overseas to Europe and to Japan, and Cannon has certainly proven himself, but Ryan Cruz also very, very successful in there, but just maybe not quite to the win-loss level of Eric Cannon here in the sport. Yeah, he's not He's not at the win-loss level. You know, and I'll say something else about Eric Cannon. He's aggressive. He's a go-getter. He's going after it. He's on the phone calling those promoters. He wants to get booked, and he made his destiny happen. Meanwhile, Ryan Cruz a bit hesitant early on to square off with Eric Cannon. There we go with the first offense from Ryan Cruz with that wrist lock. Cannon kips up. Wow. Beautiful counter maneuver. And Eric Cannon now in control. He's got that pressure on that left arm on the shoulder, twisting it. I don't, I don't know if I agree with you there, DJ, that he, that he didn't want to get in the ring. I think it was more of an arrogance thing, and he's saying, you know what, we'll start this when I want to start this. That could potentially be the case. In there right now, Eric Cannon, who has flashed us with his dazzling offense over the years, but he is very, very grounded in sound. Fundamental wrestling technique as oh, well. As there we see Ryan Cruz is as well with that hammer lock into that headlock, side headlock applied. Yeah, when it comes to their ground game, these guys are both excellent. They don't have to, to they'll take a high flyer oh, yes. and they'll ground them, and they can. Neither one of these two have been risk averse in their careers. Ooh, both men collide mid ring. Whoa, Ryan <laughs> Cruz laying down the gauntlet. Yeah, he just he doesn't like him. He really doesn't. Could be just beyond jealousy. This could be just pure animosity, as you said, Tony, from Ryan Cruz. Now a challenge issued. Cannon wanting Cruz to go in the far ropes. Irresistible force and a movable object as the cliche in this sport goes. I'm gonna give him props though. You're talking the force is coming from Cruz and Cannon is still staying on his feet. Absolutely right. Very, very grounded. Oh, now Cruz gonna send Cannon potentially to the far ring ropes. Let's see what happens here. Ducks underneath. Cruz going for a cheap shot. Oh yeah, he got all that and more. To be on the receiving end of a big, big shoulder tackle from the anarchist, Eric Cannon, who has this crowd here in Elk River, fired up, dropped down by Cannon, over the top goes Cruz, big deep arm drag, wow. connects. And there, oh Cannon. Oh my God, he is soaring him through the air on those hip tosses, uh, DJ. Sending Ryan Cruz all over the squared circle, and now Cannon elects to take a bit of a breather. I mean, he was, you see the height he was, he was soaring him through on those hip tosses? Was just floating, wow. Mid-match snack of popcorn. Look at the arrogance. He's taking some little kid's popcorn. 